in this video i explain various types of coupling so coupling is generally divided in a two category first category is the rigid coupling and second one is the flexible coupling so first we understand the rigid coupling so in a rigid coupling the axis of both the shaft are in alignment means they are in a same line axis of the both the shaft are match it is called as the rigid coupling it is used to connect two shafts which are perfectly in axial alignment axial alignment means axis of the both the shaft are in a same line it is called as the axial alignment these coupling do not allow any relative motions between the two shaft means these types of the coupling is not allow any relative motions between the two shaft there are basic three types of rigid coupling as follow first one is a sleeve or a muff coupling here you see this is the diagram of a sleeve or a muff coupling so one sleeve is used to connect the two shaft that's why its name is given the sleeve means it's a one cylindrical component and the shaft is fitted by using the key in a this sleeve second one is a clamp or a split muff coupling means this muff coupling is divided in a two part then it is called as the split muff coupling so here you see this diagram this coupling is divided in a two parts that is called as the split muff coupling and third one is the flange coupling so here you see this is the diagram of flange coupling in a flange coupling again there is a two part is there one is called unprotected type second one is the protected type so these are the various types of rigid couplings before moving ahead to our flexible coupling i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or elements of mechanical engineering subject or various subject of mechanical engineering now second category is the flexible coupling so what you understand from the word flexible so these types are very easy okay just we need to understand the meaning first type is the rigid means the axis are in same directions means on a same lines now in a flexible coupling the axis are not in a same lines they are some in a some type they are <laughs> intersecting to each other they are not in a same axis but they are in a parallel but some offsets are there it is called as the flexible coupling so this coupling is used to protect the driving and driven machine members means to protect the driving shaft and driven shaft against harmful effect produced due to misalignment of shaft so we already know what is the meaning of misalignment means axis of the shaft are not in a same line it is called as the misalignment of the shaft second harmful effect is called vibrations sudden shock load or a shaft expansions there are basic three types of flexible coupling as follow first one is a boost pin type flange coupling means it is modified versions of a flange coupling that we study in a rigid couplings so in a flange coupling the bolt is connected by using the boost pins okay so it is called as the boost pin type flange coupling so this type of coupling allow for imperfect alignment of a two joining shaft means there is a small parallel misalignment means axis of the both shaft are not in a same line but there is a minor misalignment is there minor angular displacement are there or a axial displacements are there second type is the universal coupling so here you see this is the diagram of the universal coupling this universal coupling is used in a propeller systems of the our vehicles means there is a propeller shaft is there so in a car or a truck there is a propeller shaft is used so this is called as the universal coupling so this type of coupling is used to join two intersecting shaft means axis of the both the shaft are different they are at the certain angles last type is the oldham coupling so this type of coupling is used to join two parallel shaft with small offset so here you see this diagram both the shaft are parallel but there is a some offset are there means there is a 5 mm 10 mm offsets are there means center distance between the two shaft are not in a same line but they have a some offsets so universals 
and Oldham coupling also known as non-aligned coupling because they are used when the axes of two shafts are not coaxial means they are used when the axes of both the shafts are not in a same line but they are at the certain angles they have certain offsets so these are the various types of the couplings now again we revise it what are the types we study so coupling have basically two type one is the rigid coupling category second one is the flexible in a rigid coupling first one is a sleeve or muff coupling second one is a split muff coupling third one is the flange coupling in a flange coupling again two types is there unprotected and protected now second category is the flexible coupling that is a boost pin type flange coupling universal coupling oldham couplings for all these type of the coupling i will make a separate videos for this video you can visit the playlist or either you can see in a card in a top right screen of your mobile or laptop you see these eye symbols or you can also watch this video from the description link so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and don't forget to share this channel with your friends